Hello everyone, I am Sanjay Gupta. I welcome you on Sanjay Gupta Tech School. In this module, I am going to demonstrate how you can send email notification through Apex Trigger. Let's understand the scenario that I'm going to implement. So upon creation of contact record, a welcome email notification should be triggered to the email ID populated on contact record through Apex Trigger. So this is the use case that I'm going to implement with the help of Apex Trigger. So jumping to developer console, here you can see I have created a contact trigger on contact object and it will run on after insert context. So from here, I'm going to call the method that will be defined in a contact trigger handler. So I'm creating Apex class, contact trigger handler. And here I'm going to define a method So I need to call this method in the trigger. So here I'm writing contact trigger handler dot then this method. And from here, I'm going to pass trigger dot new. So whenever contact record will be inserted. So those newly created records will be available in this trigger dot new context variable. Now here, if you want to apply these conditions like trigger dot is insert and trigger dot is after. So you can apply it like this. And here I need to store that trigger dot new into a list of contacts. So I'm creating con list. So I'm saving this contact trigger handler so that I can save the trigger. So this way through trigger, you will be having all the newly created records in con list. Now here I need to iterate on this con list. So uh, before that, basically I need to create list of messaging dot email type. So as you see, like uh, this trigger, I am implementing for bulk uh, insert handling. So all the records that we will be inserting will be available in this contact list. So there can be multiple contacts. So uh, if you want to send email notifications, so you need to store them into this list. So one by one, we will be creating one instance of uh, this uh, email. Like uh, for that, we will be using messaging dot single email message. So one by one, we will be creating that record and that record will be added into this email list later on. Now I'm going to iterate loop on con list. So one by one context will be available into this con variable. So now here I'm applying if condition, if con dot email is not equals to null. So it means if contact record is having any email populated, then only uh, this functionality should work, right? So here I'm writing messaging dot single email masses, then email equals to email message equals to new. And I'm copying this and paste it. So this way, instance of the single email message is created. Now we need to set the parameters. So I'm just creating list of string. It will store two address. So here I'm providing con dot email. So that particular context email address will be stored into this two address. Now, email message dot set to address. And here I need to pass this parameter. So 
So basically in this two address, we can uh, provide multiple addresses. That's why we need to pass the list of string here. So uh, two addresses set. Now I'm creating string email subject. So here I'm writing welcome then plus con dot first name, right? So this way you can concatenate values. So this will be a plain text and this is the merge field. So both will be combined. So con dot first name will be combined with this welcome and it will be available into email subject. Now, after this email message dot set subject and here I need to pass this parameter. So this way subject is also set. Then I'm setting display name. So I'm populating welcome notification in this, this name variable, then email message dot set sender display name. Okay, so here, if you want to set any other name, so you can do that as well. So let's say here I'm writing my name and uh, this display name will be passed into this parameter, right? So this way uh, we set the address, we set the subject, we set the sender display name. Now it's time to create the body of the email. So. I'm creating one string variable named as content. And here I'm writing hi, then concatenating con dot first name. So after hi, there is a space. So after space contact first name will be displayed. And then plus and in single quotes, I'm writing comma and then br. So br is for line break. It is HTML tag so that you can use. Okay. So whenever this text will be rendered, so in first line, hi, and then first name will be displayed. And uh, cur after comma, cursor will be on new line. Then welcome to Salesforce ecosystem. And I'm just pasting it twice. So here I'm not concatenating any field. So that's why everything is available in uh, one time in single quotes, then plus. So here I provided this text, begin your Salesforce admin and developer journey with Sanjay Gupta. So this message will be displayed. And in next line, I'm writing happy learning. And then, thank you. So this way, uh, this text is created and uh, Here I'm putting a semicolon so that uh, this complete statement will end. So it, I wrote this uh, in separate line. That's why uh, uh, it is looking like, so you can write it in single line as well. Uh, you just need to remember, like if you are using uh, text as well as field, so you need to write it like this. You need to use plus. And uh, these, these plus we are using because we are writing it in different lines. If you write it in, it in single line, so you can just copy and paste uh, everything in uh, one single quotes. So this way, this content is created. Now in email masses dot set HTML body. So I can pass this content variable here, right? So now what I need to do, I need to add this email masses instance to email list. So email list dot email message. So it is added.
So this way, uh, this loop is completed now and it is ending here. So after completion of this loop, uh, I just need to uh, in like uh, use this email list so that I can send the messages. So here I am writing messaging dot send email and inside bracket I am passing email list. So uh, whatever instances are available in this email list, so uh, to those instances emails will be triggered automatically, right? So. Uh, this way, this code is completely implemented. Now uh, it's time to test it. So we just need to uh, create one uh, contact record and uh, we need to populate the email ID and we'll, we need to test whether uh, email is triggered or not. So I'm jumping to the UI and I'm going to create new contact record. So this way I provided the data and it is showing like uh, some duplicate rule is there. So it is uh, checking for that, but I'm just clicking on save. So it is created. Now it's time to check the mail. So I'm just logging in with my Gmail account. So Let me jump to this one. So here you can see. So basically now I'm logged in with school. So here this message is available and here you can see, hi, test one. Welcome to Salesforce ecosystem. Begin your Salesforce admin and developer journey with Sanjay Gupta. Happy learning, thank you. Everything is available uh, in proper format. So with the help of this code, I hope uh, you, uh, you are able to understand how we can use uh, email service to send email notifications through trigger. Now, one more thing I want to uh, show you, like if you want to test it for bulk, so how you can do that. So you can simply uh, write this code. So if you want to test it for bulk email notification, so what you can do, you can create a contact list. Then I just iterated uh, this loop twice. And in first name, last name, I provided these values. So I'm just renaming these. So testing one, email, emailing one. So if I is one, so this email ID will set. If I is two or other than one, this email ID will set. So um, I just added contacts into contact list and I am going to insert two contacts. So when two contacts will be inserted, so uh, two emails will be triggered. One will go to this email address and another will go to this email address, right? So here you can see there is no unread email here also. Now I'm going to execute this code so that we can see uh, like both the email uh, addresses are receiving emails or not. So I'm just clicking on execute. Okay, it is uh, saying duplicate detected. Okay, so I just need to change it. Okay, basically with these emails, uh, various accounts are already available. So that's why it is showing this error. So I'm just removing these email IDs from here. Now moving here and clicking on execute. So this time it executed successfully. So if I come here, so here I'm logged in as tech.sanjagupta. So you can see uh, this test testing test two uh, mail is received here. If I go here, here I'm logged in as sanjagupta.techschool. So here you can see testing test one uh, is triggered. So this way, uh, both the emails are triggering successfully. So. Uh, this is the scenario which I demonstrated and I, I hope you understood how we can send email notifications through Apex Trigger in Salesforce.